Join me if you would in prayer. Blessed Redeemer, we lift before you, we lift before your holy presence our joys, our fears, our celebrations, and our laments. And we do this because they are part of what it means to be human. This morning we are particularly focused on the baptism of Cecilia Kay and Keenan Emerson. We touch them, we touch them with the cleansing waters of baptism. We welcome them into the fellowship of the church, into the community of faith. We did this as a sign and symbol of their sacred worth. We did this to, to claim them as persons of Christ and followers of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for these young Christians. We pray for their parents and this fellowship, this church, this church that will surround them in a compassionate embrace. We pray that this congregation will be here as a way station of healing and helping, that we might serve as the beacon of light in stormy times. We are in stormy times. We pray that the light of Christ may shine for all to see. We want also to pray for calm minds as we face the days ahead. We live in changing times. Much of the turbulence that we just spoke about comes when we live in a time of great change. So much change that confusion and anger and anxiety sometimes overwhelm us. With your help, with your presence, we will hold on to our faith, a faith that will see us through the rough passages to fairer seas and to calmer waters. Thus do we pray after him whom we declare to be the Lord of our lives, even the risen Christ, who taught us when praying to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <clears throat> 